If you're trying to use your Google Assistant and nothing's happening, it kind of defeats the purpose of having an assistant. It's useless. So in this video, we're going to troubleshoot that, figure out how to get you back on using your Google Voice Assistant um, so you can take, take advantage of all the cool functionality and features that it offers. To do this, we're going to go into our settings on our phone. I'm on a Pixel 7 device here, Android, for this demo, um, but works similarly on other Android devices. Um, so to do that, we're going to go into our settings here, and then we're going to go down to Google. So click on Google, and this is Services. It says Google Services. At the top right, if you click on All Services, you'll have more options in here. So the first one we're going to select is down where it says Search Assistant and Voice. We want to make sure that we have the right language turned on. You know, if you're English, it recognizes English, Japanese, whatever your language is, you've got the right language in there. So to make sure you're using the right language, click on the one that says Voice down here. So click on that, and then click on Languages up top. And mine says English, so I'm good to go there. I speak English, it says English. If it was on a, a, something else, it's probably not recognizing me when I said, hey Google. Look at that, it worked, so it's working. Okay, so that's the first thing to check. Make sure you have the right language in there. Next, you just wanna make sure that your Google Assistant is actually turned on, so that when you say those magic words, hey Google, it comes up like that. If it's not turned on, nothing will happen. It's typing as I speak. All right, so we're going back into our settings. We click on Google in here, so we're in Google Services, and then up top where it says All Services, and we're going to click on Search, Assistant, and Voice, and several of them that I'm going to show you today are in that same section, so get familiar with it. Search, Assistant, and Voice, and then Google Assistant, right, right there. And the first one on the top says, Hey Google and Voice Match. There, I, I, I can't even say it without it popping up. It's, it was working too well on my phone. So I click that one up top, and then see where it's toggled there? Make sure that it's toggled on, so that when you say those words that are written on the screen, that it pops up again, which I'm not gonna say. Kind of like when you're taking your dog for a walk and you spell it out, and I don't even want my dog to hear that right now, um, so that they don't recognize, or a young kid for a holiday, Christmas, whatever. Um, same principle. So make sure that it's turned on, number two. Another thing to check is to make sure you're not using battery saver. If you have battery saver on, it might disable that. So it'll start disabling things that could use battery. So you go into your settings on your phone here, click on battery, and then there's an option that says battery saver. So right now I have it turned off. If this were turned on and the assistant wasn't working, I could toggle that back on to try to get the assistant up and running again. Another thing you can do is to make sure that your Google Assistant app is updated. So to do that, you click on the Play Store icon, your profile image, and then Manage Apps and Device. And then you can click See Details for updates. And if you see the Google Assistant here with an option to update it, you can click Update. And that could solve your problem right there, just updating the app. Another thing to try is retraining the Google Assistant voice model. Um, so to do that, you're going to go back into your settings. We're going to click on Google again. And then in Google Services, click on All Services, and we're going to go back into the Search Assistant and Voice. Um, so within here, you click Google Assistant, and then there's a Voice Match up top. This was the one where you wanted to make sure that it was toggled on. So there's a second option that says Retrain Voice Match Model. You click on that. I just retrained the model. Pretty easy. It just asks you to say a few simple phrases. I'll click next. Um, it's retrained. So if you've retrained it, you're using your own voice, and it's still not working, let's continue troubleshooting. Another thing you can do is try cleaning out the microphone on your phone. So if you've got like a chip or a gum or lint or something stuck in there, that could be causing you problems. On this 
Google Pixel phone, the microphone's this little tiny, looks like a pinhole right up top. So you could have something clogged in there and it's not gonna be recognizing your voice. It's not gonna be recognizing anything. So you don't wanna use a sharp object, maybe use like a little plastic toothpick or something that's not gonna scrape or puncture anything in there and just clean it out a little bit. Maybe that'll solve your problem. Another reason your assistant might not be working is that Google is down. I mean, this doesn't happen very often. It happens once in a while. There could be a server issue, something at Google. So just make sure it's not down. You could use a third-party service like downdetector.com. Um, that's one thing to try. Just make sure Google's actually working themselves. Maybe this is obvious, but you want to make sure that your internet is working too. So you need the internet for Google to recognize search for results, surface results, etc., like that. Um, so to do that, you go into your settings, uh, make sure that your, you go into your network. Looks like my network has a full signal on there, so it's looking good. Um, so I click on internet, and then within internet, I've got the Wi-Fi turned on, I've got a signal on, on the one I'm using, 5G is turned on, it's got full bars in there. Um, you can click on the little gear settings, make sure that you're using mobile data, it's turned on. That's all looking good, so that's probably not my issue, even though I'm not having an issue. But if I was you, and that was all turned on, you could check that off the list, rule it out. Another option is to factory reset your phone. Now there are some downsides to this, you'll have to set things up again, it could take a little time. Just make sure your data is backed up in the cloud. But if you factory reset, sometimes that'll just kick things into gear. And your Google Assistant will work again. To factory reset your phone, go into your settings. And then we're going to go down to system, which is near the bottom right there. And within system, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. It says reset options. Um, so within here, you could say reset mobile and network settings. Erase all data at the bottom, factory reset. So if you were to click on that, fortunately it's going to ask me to confirm that, um, erase all data. Not going to do it right now for this demo, but that's kind of a, a, not a last resort, but something that you might want to look at if nothing else has worked so far. Lastly, you may need to get professional help. If you've been going insane, not figuring out how to get this to work, you may need to go see a therapist. But if it's just your phone, maybe your phone's out of warranty, you might need to go to a repair shop. Google also has an online forum for the assistant where you can put in your questions. Here, you know, grievances, solutions, other things from other users as well. You just may need professional help psychologically, physically with the phone. I don't know. We just want you to be in a better place in the near future. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you can get your Google Assistant working, helping you make your life easier, answering questions, whatever you want it to do. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.